Hi, my name is Jamie Stone. Thank you for viewing Find Your Approach Golf. Today I got a tip for you on your short game chip shots and how we need to get two shots down pat. I'm going to give you an option of three to four, but you need to master two. And that would be one would be a soft, easy landing shot with very little roll, and the next one would be a go to one that I can kind of bump and run and will release a little bit. Now, how I go about hitting these shots is I come into the ball and I set up with my feet slightly open going towards my target. As you can see, I have a line of rod stuck in the ground about 20 yards right there. Bag carrier on it. And I'm going to set up to that with my hips slightly open, feet slightly open. If I open the club face up at all, I do it, then I grip it. Meaning I would set the club down, then take a grip on the club. From here, my different, whatever swing plane I'm going to use right here depends on how, what the ball is going to do when it hits the green. If, I'm, if I need to hit that kind of lofty, soft, easy shot that's going to land easy and not release a, whole, a long ways, I'm going to set up, open the club face just a hair. I'm going to make sure that right arm is really where it's supposed to be like I did in the prior video with the right arm because that's critical when it comes to chipping. And from here, I'll take a ball here and show you as a reference point. That's going to be my swing plane, meaning I'm going to swing across the ball. That's what's going to put the spin on it to allow it to hit and not roll very far, if any. So that would look something like this. I'm going to set up, hips open, open my club face, then grip. Everything's locked and loaded. Accelerate through the ball. Perfect. Now, if I want to hit something with a little bit lower ball flight right there, but I still don't want it to roll this far, I'm going to set up, hips open. And I'm going to carry the club more down the line and really accelerate through. Where people mess up chipping is on deceleration. Because that same aggressive mindset we had on the tee box, we lose it when we get around these little chip shots or scoring opportunities. But trust what you're doing because this is where you score in the game of golf. So I want to come in right here, set up, and really accelerate through the ball. Right there. And that ball is just going to hit and go nowhere. Now, for the high lofted no roll shot, I want you to just think you're hitting a slice or a cut. I'm taking the club outside to the inside. If I want to hit a stop shot, I'm taking the club straight back and through. If I need the ball to bump and run a touch, I'm going to take the club inside or outside. Now, a good drill to get good at chipping and get your spin and everything where it needs to be is I want you to work on setting up to the ball, and I don't care what, which one of the three you hit, but I want you to work on doing nothing but simply as little back swing, and I want you to really practice on accelerating through that ball. So I'm going to come in and just drill right here. And I want you to get used to hitting a lot of chips like that. Work on opening the club up, same thing. Right there. So, I hope this little drill helps you out. And don't forget, if you desail on a chip shot, that's when you're going to blade it across the green. Hit it fat or whatever. Keep that same attacking mindset you had on the tee box when you were holding the driver in your hand trying to rip one. This is where we got to rip one up there to get it close enough to either save that par or make a birdie. So I know for a fact if you get one of these two shots down pat, or you get both of them down pat, that means it frees up your iron game tremendously because you don't have the pressure of I have to hit the green or I'm going to make both. When you know you can chip, you know you can putt, 
you, you free swing with your irons because you're not scared to miss the green because you know you can get it up there and make a putt and walk out of there with a par. So it's critical. Work on it. Practice it. Master it. And I promise you, if you do that, you will play better golf.